Next, we're going to solve problem number 20, and this is a local ratio problem. So we're going to use the IV approach to solve this problem. Now, here we have fractions in our question, 3 fourth, 1 third, and 2 fifth. So we're going to use the least common multiple of the denominators. So the LCM of 3 and 4 and 5 is 60. Now we're going to use this 60 to define the total number of passengers. So we can assume the total number of passengers is 60p or a multiple of 60. Now p comes from the word passengers. It just takes the initials of the related vocabulary. All right, so let's move on to our question. So on the first stop, three-fourths of the passengers got off. So 60p times three-fourths is, if we divide it by four, we get 15 here. So 15 times three is 45. So on the first stop, 45p got off, and therefore the remaining passengers on the bus is 60p minus 45p. So we get 15p. Now on the second stop, one third of the remaining passengers got off. So the remaining was 15p and one third equals, if we divide it by three, 5p. So we get 5p and the remaining passengers will be 15p minus 5p, which is 10p. Now on the third stop, two-fifths of the remaining passengers got off. So 10p times 2 over 5. Then we can divide it by 5. So 10 divided by 5 equals 2. We get 1 here and 2 here. So we get 4p. And this is the local ratio. So 10p minus 4p equals 6p. And it says 60 passengers are still left. So 6p equals 60. So p equals 10. So the total number of passengers was 60p. So we need to multiply 60 to 10. And we get 600 passengers. So... The total number of passengers is 600, and our answer is choice D. Remember how we solved the local ratio problem using the IV approach.